and from the red corner it's John Shaw from the Holy Family Club in Belfast against in this the final of the light welterweight division Billy McLean from the other great Belfast boxing club the Holy Trinity Shaw in the green shirt and the white shorts and Billy McLean the 1982 welterweight champion in all white. John Shaw has been out of the ring for a couple of years, a little spell of an activity, following a broken leg, but he certainly bounced back and looked in the semi-finals very, very sharp indeed. And plenty of action in this, the first round, indeed the first minute of the light welterweight final. And both these boys going at it, really hammer and tongs at the start. And McLean, a little warning from referee Jack Poucher about holding. And McLean again for the second time, being warned. And John Shaw certainly not looking like a man who's been of the ring for a couple of years. He's starting off very briskly indeed, this southpaw from the Holy Family Club. Well, that's a very definite warning for Billy McLean after a couple of cautions for holding. He won't want too many more of those. And he won't want to be taking too many more of those sort of punches from John Shaw from the Holy Family Club. Tremendous support here from John Shaw, who just walked into a nice right hand from McLean, the Holy Family Club, with no fewer than seven finalists here this year. standing toe to toe and what a start and what a first round of this and Billy McLean not looking terribly happy at all and took a very very hard thumping right hand to the head and will take an eight count obviously disputing that and being told just to keep quiet and concentrate on matters at hand bits of blood from the noses of both men very much from Freak. Billy McLean in the all-white strip and to a lesser extent coming from the mouth and nose of John Shaw and this time it's McLean's turn to be warned about the head and he's just putting the head down and bulldozing his way into John Shaw's Nice little combination of right and left hands from Shaw, and he's catching McLean almost at will at the moment. Well, it's normally three minutes these round. By my watch, we've got three and a half minutes of the first round. No sign of the bell as. Uh, John Shaw finds himself in the seat of his pants. More a push, I think, from Billy McLean than from anything else. So, coming up to four minutes. And in the middle of that round, well, we saw a nice piece of punching from John Shaw from the Holy Family. Indeed, it was one particular right hand that caught Billy McLean on the left-hand side of his head, and he looked in a little bit of trouble. And indeed, it was one particular round. A nice piece of action in the middle of that round from John Shaw. Second time. Third and final round. So the third and final round for the Ulster Light Welterweight Senior title for the Pritchard Cup. On the left, in the green, from the Holy Family Club, formerly with All Saints, John Shaw, the 1979 lightweight champion. And in the all-white strip, Billy McLean from the Holy Trinity Club, also in Belfast, the 1982 lightweight champion. Both boxers in their first year as light welterweights and both making very concerted and aggressive efforts to lift the Sir Pritchard Cup. McLean has taken a count of eight. 
Tremendous right hand in the first round from John Shaw. And McLean has also had two warnings about use of the head, so that certainly won't go too well in terms of points. Stop. Oh, and a very, very strong right hand into the midriff there from John Shaw. And Billy McLean really felt that, and he's quite doubled up, and he's covering up. And that's his second standing count. And Billy McLean, that white vest spattered with blood in a little bit of trouble as we come up to the halfway stage in the third and final round of this light welterweight final. And John Shaw going more and more confident and more and more aggressive and a wee bit too aggressive and a little bit just below the belt there. And once again, Shaw throwing that left hand in a fraction on the low side but Billy McLean, a tired Billy McLean, ducking into it now. McLean just holding on and pushes Shaw away and again McLean just letting the head drop down as Shaw punishes him, tries to punish him to the body. Another little admonition from Jack Poucher to Billy McLean because of his head. Two very, very tired boxers indeed and what a scrap they've given us here tonight in this night welterweight final. just coming out of his own corner, the red corner in the green vest. And to add the 1983 light welterweight title to his 1979 lightweight title. And at the moment, he looks very much like doing it. As we come up to the closing seconds of this final. And there's been no quarter given at all. Both boys have really put their hearts and souls into this right up to the final minutes, a tremendous ovation from the crowd. Two tremendous gutsy performances. And again, we seem to be over the three minutes and the crowd here at the Ulster Hall certainly getting their money's worth from this light welterweight final. So far, we've probably had about a minute and a half more than bargained for, but that's it. That's it, the end of the contest, the end of the third round. And we'll have to wait and see how that one goes. But what a bruiser that was. The winner, an Ulster senior light welterweight champion for 1983 and holder of the Eubridget Cup by a unanimous decision, Shaw in the red corner. So John Shaw from the Holy Family takes his second Oscar senior Olympic title, Olympic. adding the light title of 1983 to the 1979 lightweight title. Marvellous scrap that wasn't.